Marijuana use is more and more accepted in many parts of the country, including here in the Pacific Northwest. But researchers are still learning about how THC affects different populations, including pregnant women. With cannabis, there's really a lack of safety data. Um, and so, you know, what I found in the clinic is when patients were, you know, looking on their own about information around, you know, cannabis use in pregnancy, they just weren't really coming up with much. Jamie Lowe is one of the OHSU researchers who studied THC in pregnant non non-human primates, or monkeys, and found some concerning results. The study used cannabis-infused edibles, giving it to female monkeys several months before conception through their pregnancies. Other primates got a placebo. And then what we found in our study was that um, when we have maternal use of THC during pregnancy, there are changes in genes of babies born that are associated with um, neurodevelopment, behavior, um, including disorders like autism spectrum disorder. Researchers yeah. call the changes significant and associated with neurobehavioral disorders that are linked to poor health outcomes in childhood and adolescence, from poorer memory and verbal reasoning skills to increased hyperactivity and inattention. While more research is needed, this is important early information for pregnant women who are increasingly relying on cannabis edibles to manage morning sickness, especially in the critical first trimester of pregnancy. Dr. Lowe says it's important to arm women with risk information if they are or are planning to become pregnant. What's really important to highlight at this moment is that we just don't have enough evidence to say that there's a safe dose of THC or cannabis that you can use while pregnant. Um, and that we're really still just learning about the longer term potential health outcomes and effects that may have on children down the road. Tim Gordon, KGW News.